Hi everybody, welcome again. Riley here for another episode of Fish Keep in Jamaica. I'm in my backyard. I'm trying to do some fish uh, pond maintenance, but at the same time, I need to share this particular topic with you. Today, it's my shirt, shirt, tear up, tear up. Yeah, be your own shirt turn wrong side, and you know, I don't want to show you my shorts, right? But tear up, tear up because it, them clothes here yeah, are clothes on my use and um, when we maintaining my pond, I don't want to put on a nice little Christine shirt and pants, and then we come out here, mess it up. And then we get one bag of problem when you go inside, you know. Yeah, so we put on the, the oldest set of clothes I have, and that is to do my little yard work. All right, cool. So don't watch my shirt. Just watch the 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 um. Just watch the language. Just watch the you know the sheer. All right, cool. Anyway, you soon don't see that ugly face again. So see today's the, topic the, the is about fish. Are so uh, natural. Here. All right, uh, so, hunters. Let's look at some of my fish because I know I tired to see this fish. So let's look at some of my fish while I actually share my discourse. All right, so I have several different type of fish species. I have Asuka. You see my Asuka uh, cichlid fly swimming right now, and I have some other fish that you will see along the line, such as my um, convict cichlid, such as my yellow labs. Uh, I'll just look at these three um, as an example for today's video because I intend for it to be sharp. All right, so fish are natural hunters, right? Okay, so you have a uh, domesticated aquarium fish in your aquarium, in your house or in your yard, right? And um, you actually keep that fish until that fish reach a particular size. You decide that you don't want that fish anymore because it's getting too large. So you actually, um, remember, you know, you had the fish in your aquarium in your house, right? Your fish, you normally feed it two or three times a day. All right, so um, fish are natural hunters. But the question I beg to ask is, um, when you, let's say that you're going to release that fish into the wild, um, is that fish at, at advantage or disadvantage um, being in the wild? Uh, being it that um, it was, you know, it, it was, it, it is used to humans, so therefore it knows about human a little bit. Uh, is that bad or is that good? All right, in my summation, this is a very bad thing to do, right? A very bad thing to do is to release your aquatic creatures that you have had um, in your own water space, maintaining, caring, feeding, all that, medicating, all that. It is really, really, really a bad idea actually releasing these aquatic creatures, whether it be turtle, crab, fish, whatever you have, lizard, whatever you have, to be releasing it in the wild. And this is the reason why it is a really a bad idea. Now remember, you know, you have a time in which you actually feed the fish. You actually feed your aquatic creatures, right? In feeding your aquatic creatures, uh, your aquatic creatures actually get used to the time. Every time it sees somebody standing over the aquarium, it comes up for food. Normally, in the natural space, these fish, whenever they see something, a shadow, right, they would run because this means uh, presence of danger. All right. So, the presence of someone over the aquarium or something over the aquarium um, will lead to uh, aquarium fish actually looking or you know, seek to investigate whereas if something is being thrown into the water okay picture this you have a very large asker you cannot manage it anymore and you throw it in the wild right you throw it into the wild into a lake and a fisherman comes and he throws something into the water right obviously the asker is going to go at it although wild fish would go for it but wild fish would be more a little bit more skeptic right investigate first before they grab on it the asker i can tell you will actually grab onto the you know the, the thing in which the fisherman push out and um the, that asker would be probably dinner or lunch or probably even breakfast right but it, it will be it will be gone right so you're putting your fish at a great disadvantage when you actually release your fish in the wild okay um unlike i unlike you truly right i keep my fish in ponds right all my fish are kept in ponds so pond life condition is like a natural wildlife condition so what happened what you find is that although i have my time in which i actually feed my fish my fish is actually um left up to the element outdoor so if a mosquito lays an egg and the fish feel peckish the mosquito will actually consume the egg the mosquito will con sorry <laughs> the, the fish will consume the mosquito or the egg um the fish will like my asker will consume the lizard will consume will, will consume anything that comes to the water in search for water right and so you know to drink some water the asker will actually consume it even some microorganism that um exists in my pond doesn't exist in aquariums so therefore um your stush fish that is used to a very clean environment 
um, going out in the wild is more likely to either die because of the environment being you know just not as it's used to right yeah and um, or being caught by other individuals or by other creatures I have watched uh, oh I'm a great fan of house house the, the doctor season or sorry, medical drama series it's like ER right but it's a little bit more intimate it, it's a little bit more nicer right I am a fan of that probably you might not even know what I'm talking about but I'm a fan of that and I have watched a series where in which someone was in such a bubble and um, the parent actually kept that person in such a bubble that that person never even get a call right entire environment so clean that the person when the person actually went out and um out of the bubble to meet people you know big person or meet people you find that that person start to get sick and all of that is because the immune system of that individual have not been developed in such a way to actually fight off um issues that may ag exist because it it, it 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 was never ever exposed to um to to certain condition your body uh even the animals body is such that is developed in such way that the more it experiences um dangerous bacteria is the more the um the body actually manufactures or design uh a, a immune system or should i say a, a system of managing that right so therefore it's, it's it's similar in a fish um keeping um business so um sometimes you might even buy a fish from a pet shop when you buy the fish from a pet shop i'm kind of strange but see with me sometimes you buy a fish from a pet shop when you buy the fish from the pet shop you realize that um as soon as you carry on the fish the fish get sick and probably even the fish die um it's not because of the water uh the, t the situation is that the fish itself was built around a particular system was built around um, whether it be an outdoor system or a system structure that allowed it to um, create the body to create immune um, the, uh, antigens that actually fight against um, diseases so therefore in certain situation it is it is okay right now you placing your fish in a different environment um very much you know it's totally different from where it's coming from you find that that fish might be it might find it difficult to cope so as a result the fish might die um my video really and truly you know my video is about um our fish natural hunters and the question is yes however if you do not dangle the carrot in front of the fish the fish will not go at it so the essence of this video I guess I'm going all over the place. But anyway, the essence of this video is to share with you that sometimes you have to allow your fish to consume uh, live food. Uh, well, I don't have live food to say share to my fish. I give them the opportunity to get their own live food. So they have bacteria within the system. In the, within the system. They have um, algae growing where in which stuff is there for them to consume and periodically mosquito lay eggs in there and they get the eggs or they get the larvae um sometimes vegetation matter drop into the water and over time the water um allow the the the, the, the vegetation matter to decay um resulting in infusion being created so therefore you know they can consume that also uh there's a great mo um, amount of some little thing i think uh, i think i'm not sure if it's isopod i don't remember what the name right but i share that with you in a few video videos back um so sometimes the, the, the fish actually get these um live creatures organism to munch on resulting in their protein intake being like up there very good which is really better than the food that you actually feed the fish is that all right yeah that you actually feed the fish right allowing your fish to actually consume live food is like helping them to cope with the wild or cope with nature because in their nature in their in their nature where they're where they're supposed to live they're supposed to actually um get food from the wild get food from nature a grasshopper jump on the on the pond uh to get some water Asuka jumps up grab him that's it right lizard uh, jack dempsey jump up grab it um a frog jump in the pond by accident 
Askers grab him, pull him down, nick him until he's like open up and they enjoy the fish. Right? So these are some of the experiences in which my fish at the back of my yard enjoy. Thank you very much for stopping by. Yeah, tear up shirt. So it goes still. You can't really just look too too good. We deal with my pond system on my back. Right? So I'm changing water, as you can see. Right? Changing water. Taking out, removing fish. And all of that. And as a result, um, how am I? Right? So some of the plants going to be taken up. While some of the plants going to be redistributed. Thank you very much for stopping by again. Rally here. Peace.